brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to replace a fuel filler neck on this um, 2001 Ford uh, Escort ZX2. Uh, a lot of times these filler necks rust out and you're, as you'll see ours is pretty crusty in this vehicle. They get pinholes and they leak and that causes a check engine light to come on and the, the message from the check engine light is usually something like check, um, check your emission system or check your evaporative system. Tools you'll need are jack and jack stands. You'll need to raise the back of the vehicle in order to get some access behind the rear wheel. 8 and 10 millimeter sockets with a ratchet and extension. Phillips screwdriver, pliers, flat blade screwdriver. And we also used a hammer to break one of the clamps that uh, was rusted. Remove the gas cap and the remove the gas 8 cap. millimeter uh, bolts in behind. The two eight. Kind of speed up here as we remove those. And then in behind, there's a plastic collar that pulls up and out. Can be a little tough to get out. Remove the 8mm screw here, 8mm here, and the plastic Phillips rivet. Okay, we found that the uh, two 8mm bolts come out pretty easily, so we'll just fast forward through that. And on this plastic rivet, what it is, it's it's basically a little clip, uh, and there is a Phillips head in the middle of it, and you should be able to twist the Phillips head out counterclockwise, but what always happens is they get sand stuck in them, uh, and they don't come out well. Um, but what you should be able to do is twist the head out counterclockwise and then pull the clip out. Uh, it basically just doesn't work that way and we ended up pretty much breaking the screw head off and then just pushing the clip through and then uh, pulling the whole assembly out. We've got a 10 millimeter bolt holding the filler neck in here. And uh, we got quite a bit of rust, so we're going to spray it down with some penetrating oil and let it soak in. Okay, it's a 10 millimeter bolt, but I think we end up using uh, a standard size socket that's a little bit smaller. And it ends up being a moot point anyways because the bolt head just breaks off. There's two hose clamps, one for a breather and one for your fuel and filler neck. And these are, again, rusty, so spray them down. Okay, I'm going to fast forward. We make an attempt at just doing it the conventional way on both clamps, but it doesn't work because they're so badly rusted. For the smaller clamp, we use a pair of vice grip pliers, as you can see here. Lock it onto the bolt, and then uh, it actually comes free. And for the larger clamp, we get a little more, a bit more barbaric and just use a large screwdriver and a hammer and basically just destroy uh, the old clamp. We drive the screwdriver between the bolt and the strap of the clamp and that eventually just breaks it apart and it comes off. I'm going to remove the two hoses, the screwdriver to loosen them up a little bit. And we'll speed it up here a little bit. It's pretty much whatever you can do to break those hoses free uh, of the filler neck. The hoses or the, the filler neck rusts and basically just kind of locks itself onto the hoses. Put a screwdriver between the filler neck and the hoses or use a pair of pliers and try and twist the hose off of uh, the filler neck. Um, but uh, once you get it broken free, it pretty much pulls out.
We got our old filler neck and our new filler neck from 1A Auto, exactly the same, going just, just as the factory would. We're putting new clamps on. Press them there. And then snake my new filler neck back up. Line up the holes. Tightening up the clamps, use the appropriate size socket or flat blade screwdriver to tighten your new clamps. And putting it together is always so much nicer than trying to take it apart. Uh, just put the new part in and tighten up the two clamps. Okay, earlier we did uh, remove that evaporator hose just to make it a little easier to get in there. The two speed nuts built into the old filler neck need to be swapped over to the new one. And just use a pair of pliers to squeeze uh, the back side of um, the clip or the speed nut and push it through. You could also use, um, use pliers and a screwdriver to pry from the other side as well. Reinstalling the old speed nuts into the filler pipe. I'm going to put the cover back in. Okay, so just a quick note here. Um, put this in, and then you can kind of reach in behind and move the filler neck around a little bit to help line up these bolts um, and get them back in and going, and we'll speed it up here. Our bolt that holds the bracket here to the inside of the fender well broke and you could either drill it out or put a couple of zip ties through it. Um, I mean, it'll still do the same thing. Reinstalling the shield. And we get the shield back up in place and put that plastic rivet and lock pin back in place and then put the two 8mm bolts that hold it in. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll-free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.